With this certificate, uh, which has been achieved after uh, 70 plus flight hours and 200 takeoffs and landings, uh, we have uh, uh, confirmed that the technology uh, is built in compliance with all the safety regulations imposed by EASA. You know, the cars used to be symbols of, used to be a symbol of freedom. And if you have a driver's license and you drive your car, you, you certainly know you lost the, that freedom uh, because you are often stuck in traffic. Our goal is to return the freedom to, uh, back to, to those who uh, have the pilot's license and, and can drive a car and at the same time they can take off and, and cover a distance of 1,000 kilometers. Makes sense to save money and time, you know. Uh, what if we had not received this product, uh, this uh, certificate? We would have to go back to the drawing board and 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 create, uh, you know, improvements. Now we know we have something that is accepted officially by by the authorities. Uh, imagine uh, 300 helicopters flying over London or New York. That would be a mess, you know. Uh, so although I believe um, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles uh, will be part of the tra transportation uh, systems and infrastructure, uh, the flying cars uh, are more energy efficient. Uh, so for, per mile of transportation, you, you, you need less energy than vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. Uh, if uh, somebody comes up with a battery which has a high enough density of energy per kilogram, we are happy to in implement such an engine in our flying car. So it's, uh, it's a, I'm sure somebody is, will come up with some uh, improvements of uh, the battery technology, but at this moment, unfortunately, uh, the range would be too small.